Hello guys, we here faces back to another episode on Project Ozone. So, what have I been up to? Not a lot. <laughs> we extended the platform, so we got that done, and I made some more uh, stone, which I've turned into dust, because we're going to need that today, um, because we made clay a little bit prematurely. Uh, so that's the next quest we're on. Uh, we're also going to try and maybe make the mob platform today. So we're going to make a mob spawning platform over on yonder. Uh, but the first thing that I want to be getting towards is trying to get um, auto um, sorry, automated cobblestone. Uh, because I despise punching the dirt uh, for a quarter piece of cobblestone. Um, so we're going to try and get out of that as soon as possible. So we need eight pieces of clay. Uh, pretty sure it says eight. Yep. Um, eight pieces of clay. So we've got all eight barrels filled with water. One, two, three, four. One, two. Uh, pulled that one out a bit early. Uh, we can go back and collect all of these now. Sweet. And then we go like that. And it's going to go, yeah, you have eight clay. Have a reward bag. Why, thank you very much. Good, sir. What do we got? A fancy lantern, ink sack, and a printing press. These are reward bags that absolutely love me today. Um, <laughs> right, so let's have a look. What else have we got? So, yes, we can make the crucible now. So, to make the crucible, we need porcelain clay. To make porcelain clay, we need to put bone mill with clay, which is why we made clay in the very first episode, because I want to try and get that done as soon as possible. But there was no point in doing it uh, before the quest there we go because otherwise I would have just had to make it again and that's just no fun right so there we go we got a porcelain clay go like that got one of these and we're gonna cook that in there should only take one piece I'll put a second piece in just in case we also made some torches that's another thing I did uh, I made some charcoal made some torches and now we have light. So we place that one there, that one there. I think these are pretty well spaced out. I don't want to go too crazy with torches everywhere. Um, I like to try and space them out as evenly as possible. There we go. Just do them all around the edges and we should be good. I'm not sure. We'll find out during night time. And holy Jesus Christ, that's a big tree. Um, grave key. Definitely grave key on this one. Thank you very much. All the apples and sap... Well, all the apples. One. <laughs> there we go. I'm going to take that one there. We'll grab that. Chuck that down. And look, you run around. The thing is, like, this... It's not just twerking. It's also running past your tree's works as well. So as soon as you, like, try and run away or run to pick some bits and pieces up, by the time you come back, your next tree's already grown. It's ridiculous, like, how easy it is to get wood in the beginning of this game, which is why we're main, mainly making everything out of wood um, in the start here. Right, so. You all fired up? Yeah, we got ourselves a crucible, man. Sweet. Um, these can actually be powered by torches as well. This is one thing that I didn't know about. Um, if we had to place like a torch there, place that there, it's got a melting speed of times one. So what we do with this now is we're actually going to need to get some more cobblestone. See, this is the thing. I, I hate doing this. I don't want to have to do this. Oh, we should better claim the reward for the crucible as well. What well, do we do that? Do we claim that? We must have done. Oh yeah, we need the bucket of lava as well. I, f I always forget there's two tabs on that. Uh, so we need to make a bucket of lava. Which it says... Place four blocks of cobblestone in, which is exactly what we're going to do. So we take that, go one, two, three, four. It's going to be very, very slow doing this because we've only got torch underneath. Uh, once you put lava underneath, it's times two speed. And once you get a burning fire underneath there, uh, it will be times three speed uh, but I tend to wait until we get netherrack for that just because it's a lot easier once we get lava though we can place lava underneath um, and then we can sort of just go off of it that way but once we get lava 
uh, we can actually make ourselves a cobblestone generator, which is what we're going to be trying to do today. So I'm actually going to get a ton of stone because we don't want the lava burning the wood up. Um, so if we grab ourselves a ton of stone, I think we're probably going to go off in... I don't know what direction we're going to go, actually. I might move the infinite water source into the middle of these trees as well. I don't know yet. Lots of things left to decide. Um, grab all of that. Sweet. And let's have a look. So, I'll tell you what. Let's put it over in this general area. I don't think it will burn down through anything. So, if we had to go... One, two, three. And that's going to be the cobblestone block. And then the rest of it's just going to be filled in like so. So, we're going to have a water block there. Lava block there, and it's going to generate the cobble in the middle, which is going to make our life a lot easier. We also need to get into tinkers. That's another thing we got to do today. Uh, probably try and get into tinkers because we need a pickaxe. Because this has iguana on it, and iguana basically disables all vanilla items. You can craft them, but you only get one swing out of it. Uh, so we've got to be very careful placing these blocks until we get some tinkers tools on the go. But yeah, so we should be, we should get another fair bit done today. I'm not sure if we'll get onto the mob platform. Uh, I'd love to, but I don't think it's going to happen. So we're going to have to wait and see on that one. Okay, we got the more cobblestone. That should be enough. That should be enough. Um, I hope. That's way, that tree's way too close to this. Uh, we might have to get rid of this tree. Because I can see this tree catching fire somehow. Right, so we got that. And this is going to be our cobblestone generator. I'm actually going to place a half slab in there just so we can step up. And it's going to be a little bit easier to get into. Right, so now we can grab ourselves a bucket of water. I think we could actually probably move the water thing over here and place that one in there. How are we doing on our lava? 300 and something, something. Right, so while that's cooking, I'm probably going to take the rest of the episode. Um, but what we'll do is we'll actually get into Tinker's stuff. So we're going to make some Strix. There we go. Go like that, go like that, go like that, go like that. And we got ourselves 32 blank patterns. Sweet. So with our blank patterns, we're going to go one under a piece of wood. is going to make us a stencil table. One under a log of wood will make us a part builder. So that's going to be the stencil. That's how we're going to craft our stencils. That's how we're going to build the parts. We're also going to make a chest. And we also need to make a crafting bench. So what we're then going to do is... Oh, we can do this in our normal one. Chest under there is going to give us a pattern chest. So we can place all of our patterns in there. And if we place a crafting table underneath another one, that's going to give us a tool station, which will allow us to put the tools together. Sweet. So we've got all of that done. I'm pretty happy with that so far. Where do we put all of this stuff? Um, I'll tell you what, you can actually half slab these as well, which is really, really cool. So if you place that in there, you actually get a stencil table slab, part builder slab, pattern chest slab, and the tool station slab, which I think is really, really cool. I really, really like that feature. Um, but where do we put you? This is the question. <laughs> I don't want to put it anywhere that's going to be in the way. So if we just place them here, part builder, pattern chest, and a tool station, that should be good enough. So we, then what we do is chuck all of our stencils in here. And we're just going to get some basic stencils for some basic tools to start off with. So the first thing we're going to need is a tool rod pattern. That's a must. And we're then going to need a binding. That's a must for the pickaxes. Not so much the shovels or the axes. Um, we're going to make ourselves a pickaxe head. A shovel head. And where's the axe? Oh, there it is. And then the axe head as well. And I think that should be all we need for the time being. And then what we can do is we can chuck bits in here and make different parts with it. So if we place a piece of stone in there. Mm, no, we can. No, 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 not stone. I almost messed up then. Uh, we want flint. Flint is probably one of the best things you can start off with in Tinkers. 
Uh, we're actually going to chuck all these in here, and that should show up in there. Yep, fantastic. That's one really cool thing that I like. You can place the pattern chest next to a part builder, and you can actually see the stencils in the chest while you're in the part builder um, GUI, which is really, really cool. It makes life a lot easier. So we can place that in there. It's going to go as a flint axe head. Um, place that one in there. That's going to give us a flint shovel head. Place the pickaxe bit in there. That's going to give us a flint pickaxe head and so on and so forth. You guys are getting the gist of this now. And then we go like that. We can place half a block in there rather than a full block. Because if you place a full block in there, it's just going to give you this stick. And I just can't be dealing with sticks. So we might as well use up these half slabs that we've got. There we go. And we've got a wooden tool rod, which looks like a stick. But trust me, it's not a stick. We actually need another two of those. We only need the part binding for this one. Which kind of makes sense because you kind of put it in and then I guess you'd like bind it around both sides uh, to make it stable. Whereas these you'd like put a hole. Like if you had to have an axe or a shovel you'd have a hole in the metal part and you just put the stick into it. So it kind of does make a little bit of sense in that regard. Oh, we're actually going to put that back as well. So and then we come over to our tool station. And as you can see you need a binding for the pickaxe. So you place that in there. Place a wooden tool rod in there and a wooden binding. These are very low level uh, pieces at the moment. And we will get better ones eventually. And there you go. We've got a shovel. So place that one in there. Don't want two pieces in there. And then we got the axe finally, which does the same. There we go. And now we got ourselves a pickaxe and a hatchet and a shovel. We're probably not going to use the hatchet much. Um, it's mainly just going to be for taking bits and pieces up. Uh, how are we doing on our lava? We're almost there, so, so close, and then we get this thing on the go. Once that's on the go, everything is going to be a lot better for us. Um, I also need to sort this out because of this. Everything on here at the moment is even this way, and I don't like even things. They're just, they're nasty, man. I don't like them. So we need to sort that out. We need to make that an odd number. Um, I'm not sure how we can do that with the water source there, but we'll figure it out somehow. Um, but yeah, so we're just literally waiting on this lava now. Once we get the lava going, then we get a cobblestone generator. Once we got a cobblestone generator, we can go out and build a mob farm. And everything's going to be a hell of a lot easier for us. Um, let's actually have a look and then see what our next... See if we've got any more quests we can do, any more rewards we can claim. So we can't do anything there. Crucible's coming. Watering can. Have a look at this. Uh, we need iron ingots, a bowl, and some bone meal. So I think we can actually probably do that. We can get onto that. We got tons of this iron stuff. Can we just smelt that as is? Yeah, we can. That's pretty neat. So I know we shouldn't really be using wood to cook. But we are, so it is what it is. Alright, so we can get onto the watering can today. That's going to be another cool thing. We need to put all these books away. Don't need any of them it just gives it to uh it gives loads of them to you when you're starting off with like tinkers it's just like oh you made something here have a book literally just throw them at your face um how are we doing yes we got a whole bucket of lava let's quickly claim that quest while we still got it on our hands Ta -da. Uh, we always go for, i always go for the middle one i don't know why there we go got five lives now as well and we have a sword sweet that's not the uh, amazing, but it seems to be making one, which I'm happy about. There we go, place lava there. Gonna make a little lava flow. Hey, you shouldn't have done that. Like, that shouldn't have been a thing. Don't knock my torches off, man. That's not, that's not cool. I don't know why that's doing that. I shouldn't be doing that. Hmm. That's very weird. Let's try that once more. I'm actually going to block up behind us because I'm sick of it running out. No, it's still doing it. Why is that? Hmm, let's take this. Two seconds. Uh, take this down a notch quick. Chuck you in there. Oh, no, I don't want to do that yet. 
Maybe it flows faster on different sides than the other sides? Well, that lava's looking pretty flowy, I think. I don't know. Right, so we'll take that out. No, you should not be doing that. Unless you should be doing that. Oh, I think I know what it is. Right, let's try this. I think it's because there's a hole here. So there can't be like a gap, if that makes sense. Because it's going to be like, oh, look, I can flow this way. No, it's still doing it. Why? Is it still because there's a gap? Place that there. I don't want to do this and then lose like I'm actually gonna go make some more lava. <laughs> like it shouldn't be doing that. It should not be doing that, I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna try one more thing. I'm gonna try and extend this out one more. And see if that makes any difference. Right, I'm not losing. I'm not losing this lava. Like the lava is really, really slow, and I don't understand why. Like if I drop, if no, see, it's not. It's it's not doing right. Um, we need to break that somehow now. <laughs> oh dear, right, that's going to be interesting and fun at the very least. Um, so we'll do that later. <laughs> uh, we'll take our 10 iron ingots. I know we probably could have got more out of these, uh, but I choose not to. We're so close to getting cobble generation today. Ah, I'm so annoyed now. All right. Wait, was ah oh, no, I didn't make a bench bench. I didn't make one of the staying in bench type things. Um, what do we need? I needed a piece of bone mill for this. So this is going to help us out a little bit as well uh, with growing things in the future. I'm really baffled why that thing doesn't work. Maybe it's the direction I have it. I don't know. I don't know, man. But I need to get. I need to break this now. Look at it, look how slow it is. Oh wow, that's gonna be uh, interesting to say the least to try and get rid of. Um, yeah, not sure what we're gonna do with that, uh, but we'll figure something out eventually. So let's have a look here. We made our watering can, absolutely fantastic. So we'll take a reward bag, see what crap we get this time. Be nice to me, please. We got a walrus and an elevator. <sighs> I'll tell you what. Let's take the walrus. No, you're facing the wrong way, you dingbat. I want you there. There you go. You can protect my water source. Good walrus. Right. I don't know why we're getting so much bad stuff. I don't think that was English, but yeah. Um, so we're actually... So next, next, next. Sorry, I'm like skipping ahead. I'm reading things. I'm like, this is what I need to do. And then just doing it. So next we need to make a wheat farm. And to do that, we're going to need to get some seeds. Best way to get seeds, bone meal grass. I'm hoping we get some. Because it's going to be really bad if we don't oh my god we got like no grass that either that was horrible that was like the worst bone meal ever <gasps> no we got no seeds are you kidding me ah what do we do now we need to make the mob farm this thing is pushing me towards making this mob farm um damn it right so i'm gonna take out all of this i tell you what just grave mine it yeah boy i love that stuff Absolutely love it. So cool. Right, so we've got 53 cobblestone. Can we make a spawner out of this? 
Uh, we need some torches. I think we can. I want to go on a whim and say yes, yes we can do this. Rain nicely as well, which is always a good thing. We need to light this up as we go along, otherwise mobs are going to spawn here because we got because there's nowhere else for them to spawn. They're just going to spawn everywhere around here um, if we're not careful. So if we go one, actually, I tell you what, why? Why are we making this out of stone? There's no reason to make this out of stone, and we've got more than enough wood. So I'll tell you what, we'll do the bridge out of stone. And then we're going to build the platform over here. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> I always do that when I'm building. I'm like, mm, yeah, yeah, that's enough. No, one more. Oh, no, now it's an odd, even number. Got to go one more. <laughs> um, yeah. So we're just going to quickly pull all this up like this. Right, so today hasn't gone as planned so far. So I'm hoping something goes right over here. we can actually get ourselves a bit of a mob farm on the go because cobble gen doesn't work if anyone knows why that didn't work by the way just please just let me know because actually i'll probably figure it out by next episode or i'll have it sorted out by next episode um which i'm probably going to record like not long after this one says uh, i don't know i was going to say tell me down in the comments and i'll fix it next episode but i'll probably have next episode recorded before um, and I'll figure out why. But anyway, we'll get onto the cobble gen. We'll get there. Like I wanted the cobble gen so I could make a better mob farm, like out of stone and stuff like that. But I just don't think that's going to happen. So unfortunately, we're just going to have to stick with this. We're going to go three down the middle like this. This has actually worked out pretty well. I think seven was definitely the perfect number for this. There we go. And then when we got that. We're actually going to have to make this bigger. Oh dear. Right. Because I want this like 3x3 three three spawning platform for them. Um, then obviously I'm going to have to build up and around this. Like so. Actually. Yeah. I'm going to have to do it at this height. Oh no. Or can I do it at another height? Like, obviously, they're not going to be able to spawn if I put a half slab in there, but I'd want to have it at this height. Like, I don't care if a baby zombie comes out. They're not going to do a lot to me. Well, saying that, I need to make some armor. It's probably going to be my first death. I can feel it already. Right, so let's quickly run back over here. We're just going to get this one finished up today. Um, I'm going to go scratch my head over the whole lava generator thing. Uh, the cobble gen thing. Trying to figure out what the hell went wrong. It's probably something really, really simple. That I'm just an idiot about. Um, but right, so we come up here. Go like this. Oh, actually, no. I know a bit. I know a better way to have done this now. <laughs> there you go. You've got to take it all down again now. Um, so I don't want a full block down here. Actually... I don't need to take all this out. I just need to put another layer underneath, like so. I think I messed up a little bit here, but uh, we'll figure this out in a second. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drop this half a slab instead, and then they can't get out still. I only need, really need to do the inner ring as well, really. <laughs> this is like how lazy I'm feeling at the moment. Like, I don't even need to go all the way across, like, surely. Like, I just need to do this stretch here so I can actually kill them. Yeah, that works. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just trying to find the laziest way of doing this at the moment. Just because I want it to work. 
I, I prefer functionality over style for the time being. Eventually, we're, like, we're going to make a much better mob farm. Like, this isn't going to be permanent. It's probably not even going to be here for very long, if I'm 100% honest with you. There you go. And then I can just run down here and be like, ka -cha, ka -cha, and just kill everyone. So, that works out exactly as intended. Definitely planned all of that. <laughs> um, quickly just build this up. Uh, there we go. Right, so what do we need to do in here? We need to make this slightly taller. So what's their spawning height at the minute? So they've got one. That's block number. This is block number two. Okay. So I need to slab around this. So this is going to be the second block of height. I'm going to add three height blocks onto it. Uh, just so we can get some Enderman in here as well. Because I think we need to kill an Enderman. So we do that. And then we build this up. And then you've got three blocks high. And then we'll just stick a roof over the top of that. And then that should be all good. And we should get mobs spawning in there. Fingers crossed. And then just cap the roof off. I need to go all the way around that roof so they can't spawn up top. Oh no, I'm out of half slabs. I'll tell you what, we're going to do some DIY bench making up here. Mm, there we go. We've got plenty of slabs now. But yeah, I need to slab all this off, otherwise they will spawn up here, I think. There we go, cap that all off like so. Try and drop onto this block without falling off the world. Fantastic. There we go, all done. I'm pretty sure that will work. Just gonna light up behind here so there's nothing spawning on the back of this platform at night. Put some torches there, make sure this is all still lit up fairly well. And we should... Yeah, there you go. Things are spawning already. Fantastic. Right, so what do we need to kill and how many of them do we need to kill? Um, so we're going to have to work on that. Good, like That's the reason we have to build this mob farm now is because we need to get skeletons. Because we need their shit. Okay, that went well. So we got some skeleton bones. Um, the thing blew up. <laughs> oh, damn it. Um... Best mob spawn at EU. For sure. Um, but yeah, we got we got some bits, you know. <sighs> this is not going very well at all. Like, this is not the best start to the world. But you know what? We'll get there. I'm going to grind this out. Like, in, the, in the beginning, this thing sucks. So bad. Like, I hate Skyblock in the beginning. Um, but we'll get there. So there we go. We've got those things spawning now. Where we're gonna have some food. Actually, I tell you what, we will do. So what have we killed so far? We've killed a total of one skeleton, zero creepers because the creeper killed everything else. Um, but I tell you what, we will make today. We're gonna make ourselves a juicer. So these are fairly easy. Pressure plate with some stone, which means we need three cobblestone smelted. Four cobblestone smelted, two for a pressure plate, and then a single one. Three, technically. Um, so we had to do that, and then we can start juicing these apples down, and that's going to make life a little bit easier for us. Just chuck all this stuff in here. Like I don't know, I don't tend to keep track of things anymore. There we go, we can actually get some bone meal as well. Give me grass. Don't work over there, does it? Nope. There we go, that's what I wanted. No, no seeds still. Is there any way to craft seeds that's easy? Bag. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, we can get it from seven dirt. We don't have a lot of dirt, so... We can try it. But I'm not sure how well it's going to go. There you go, we've got six. 
I just got seeds straight off the first one. Oh, Jesus. Uh, actually, we're going to need this dirt then. Can I pull it back out? Nope. There you go. Right. So we got one lot of seeds straight off the very first piece of dirt. We're going to need some more dirt in a bit. Um, we'll do that with saplings in these barrels eventually. But what are we doing? We're doing this here. Make a pressure plate. These things are really, really cool. I think, is it a juicer? Juicer, yeah. So what you do is juicer, you place that in there, you place your apples in there, and you get this apple juice. And this is going to give you so much more saturation than apples. Like, that's a lot more. I think, like, it would have only given us two bars. Now you can see, like, we've got the gold around the hunger bars as well, which means we're, like, fully saturated, which is really, really cool. Uh, so we can claim that reward. Let's take some carrots and then we can start planting carrots as well and also make some carrot juice give ourselves a nice bit of variation um but yeah so that's it so far cobble generation so we will eventually move on to this we'll get this eventually i think we'll, the best way to get this is with the ender pearl um, and we can make four of those like we need to kill an enderman eventually anyway so Oh, there's an Enderman in there. There you go. We got that Creeper that time. And we got the Skeleton. Can we get the Enderman? Give us an Ender Belt. Ah, you tight little bastard. He didn't give us an Ender Belt. Oh, spirit. Right, so we can quit jumping here. Grab all this stuff and then we'll just quit jump back out. There we go. So we've done quite well. We've got the Enderman kill. Uh, we've got the other kill. We've got a mob spawner, which is spawning mobs in for us at the moment, which is pretty cool. We failed on the cobble generator, but I will get that sorted out for next time. I think that's probably the... This is going to be the next one that we work on. Uh, we've got some lapis. we got four lapis already, so we're doing pretty good. We're pretty much there on that one. Uh, we uh, we got an ender pearl, so we can actually do that one as well. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and we'll try and get that one done for next episode. So that's all we got time for today. Thank you guys very, very much for watching. I do apologize this video run a little bit long. I sort of lost track of time a little bit there. Um, but anyway, I will see all of you faces in the next video. Make sure you give it a like if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see all of you faces in the next video. Goodbye.